What drives me as an engineer is problem solving. I like coming across something and seeing it and thinking, well, I could do better than that. I don't like giving up on things. For me, like with, with carbide and in my job, if something's not perfect, you know, I'll stick with it until it is. And I think that's kind of in my DNA really and what makes me me. When you're kind of at the top of your career, I think that's something to be proud of and that's something to strive for. Actually getting the Robot Wars trophy was quite a big part of my life really. Um, having Robot Wars be the only reason I ever got into engineering. To actually reach the top and take the trophy home was a really proud moment for me. It's the pride that it gives you, it's what drives me as an engineer. I think when you go to a competition, if you can turn up and everyone turns around and goes, yeah, that's, that's serious. Um, I think that's a good motivational point, really. I messed about taking train sets apart when I was a kid and just going from there, really. And then with the, with the eventual goal of competing on Robot Wars, if I'd never seen that show on TV, I'm not sure what I'd be doing now. So I'm an engineer. I work at Cadbury's in Bourneville. I'm a maintenance engineer, mostly. So when a machine breaks, it could be anything. I've got to know how it works and uh, how to fix it. So it's quite a daunting task, really. As well, that links back to, to RS with the components that we have to use because most of the parts are on stock in RS, so I can quite easily go, oh, I think that's broken, and order one, it's there, put it on, there we go. If someone does something absolutely crazy, but it works better than it ever could have done doing it the normal way, I think that's very inspirational to me. I think people that really think out of the box, um, they're brilliant, and to me that, that's really inspiring. When I won when I was 17 outside of Robot Wars with something that I built out of what I had lying around and um, it's made out of school tables and stuff, this is the original robot, but beating a highly sponsored team that was uh, of engineers that have been doing it for quite a long time, uh, to beat them was probably the, the pinnacle of it all for me really and that's kind of what made me want to try even harder um, to make something even better. Like I knew that I'd built something good but I hadn't built something perfect at that point. Like, I could have a machine that, that wins f flawlessly, but to me, I'll still pick fault in it. And I think that's what makes a great engineer, really. I'm Dave Moulds, one of the builders behind Carbide, and I'm an engineer.